guys, it's Louise and me and my friend, guest, Hi. is going to be making potato and cheese pasties. So, um, how do you make them? So what we're going to do is we're going to have a cup and a quarter um, of flour and put it in this bowl. Well, um, you can use any type of flour, but we use like flour. And um, then we're going to add the butter, a quarter of butter, and um, we're going to add it there. And then we're going to mix it until it's like a breadcrumb substance. substance. And then, um, then we're going to add some water and mix it into like, it's a pastry kind of dough. And then what are we using for the filling? Um, so we're going to be using potatoes and cheese. And um, we are using um, as much cheese as we want. You can use as much cheese as you want. So let's get started. So um, as you said, we're going to put one cup, which will look like this, of flour. <laughs> And pour it in. And I'm going to put one quarter of flour. And put it in. Alright, now what we're going to do is move the flour and get the butter. Where did the knife go? Oh, okay. Frozen. Here, we can try. There. There. And after a lot of struggling, we managed to put the butter in. So, as you can see, my friend Gabriella is putting uh -huh. the butter in. So, what we're gonna do to make sure it melts, kind of melts, we're gonna chop it into pieces and then put it over a um. Put it over um, Let's use the a fire fork and to like something. Put it over the fire to kind of melt yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are going to be um we're going to be melting the butter just a little bit more so um it will sort of cool down and be melty so we can mix it. So right now, we are going to be crunching the buttery butter into the, into the um, flour. But be careful not to, because if it's too hot, don't touch the bottom because it will be burning. Like literally hot, really hot. So, but right now... But right now, we are um, going to mix it into a into something like really crumbly and sort of yellowish. In it, it, it will look sort bread of crumbs. like yeah, breadcrumbs. It will look like cheddar cheese, but cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese, but um, it's gonna be a little bit more yellow. And it's not gonna taste like cheese. Yeah, cheese. it's not. It's not gonna taste like cheese. Well, I'm gonna get the water now. ready. Okay. So, um, as my guest is getting the water for our next step, um, I am going to show you um our bread crumb crumb mixture from the butter and the flour. As you can see, it's just how we predicted. And then we'll be adding water to make it more into a, a paste like this. So This we're was gonna... the extra from the first one we did. Okay, so we're going to add a tablespoon first. If it's not enough, we add more. And we mix each time. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's not enough. So we're going to put another tablespoon in. 
But don't get another tablespoon or else you're going to be having a lot of dishes. After we use two more, and now we're and now we think it's gonna be enough, so we're getting all the crumbs into some nice See, dough. So what you do is you take the crumbs and you and uh oh, we need more. Yeah, just I think one more tablespoon mm -hmm. because as you can see, I made a lot of dough, but it's sort of crumbly. Oh. Yeah, I think this will be good, right? Mm-hmm. Here's some extra gooey stuff. Am I a natural? I think I'm a natural at this. All right, now we have this. It's good. See, it's doughish. So now what we're gonna do is. It's not the same, Gabriella. It's not the same as the other. Okay, so maybe a little bit more water. Can a you get the water? Bit? Yeah, sure. I'll get the water. Keep so, your mouth closed. Well. All right. So now that this is a dough formation kind of thing, Here. um, Wait, we're going to um roll it. So. Roll. Okay, so we're gonna roll it. This is hard. This is sort of like past. Okay, let me try. No, it's not okay. Uh, oh my god, that doesn't. Wait, I think that's too thin. I I can't. Oh, that's really buttery. I'm gonna add this to it. So, um, Gabrielle, should we add this? I don't know. So, let's just go with what we have. Can I try some? I mean, try to roll some. I think that's good. Okay, yeah, that's good. Just... Okay, now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take a plate that has edges so that you can place. Oh, I think it needs a little bit more uh, to this side. Wait, no, I can do it. So it won't be a disaster. Okay, yeah, that's good. So, and then you wanna... You wanna... And if it doesn't come off, you can use a knife. Just be careful. Have adult supervision or have an adult do this. Because you don't wanna, like, cut your hands or the table. Unless you're doing it on the counter. But still have adult. So we just finished cutting away oh, this Okay, now we're gonna Oh and let's go. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take the filling. Wait, just to see. Um yeah. Now what we're gonna do is um, we put the cheese first on the bottom. So you're gonna put half because the other half is gonna Ooh, fall on top. I'm gonna see if I can make another one. Ooh, that's now really we're gonna put some potatoes. Make sure not to put too many potatoes or and else you won't be able to close and make, it up. And make sure you, you leave an edge because you're gonna flip it over. And you're going to press to close it. Now we're going to fold it. And take the fork. And we're going to press down. I'm going to take off this potato. Press down. And make... Here's a little bit of dough. And... This one hasn't, this one didn't turn out as pretty as the other one, but it's food, so, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter how it looks, it matters how, how it tastes. Take this, like, you don't want to be it down and eating a 
So right now I'm going to be making another one. Brielle, speak. Um, I'm just cracking the eggs. Um, don't you think you should? Four. Four. Um, we're going to put a lightly beat egg on this and spread it. So I'm just going to. One egg per pastry, so we need two eggs. All right, now what we're gonna do is um, wash my hands. Okay, guys. So, well, Gabriella is um putting the egg. I um I I thought I could make another one, and I guess I was able to. So I'm just gonna go take the plate right here. And I'm gonna see if it's good. Okay, not good enough. So I'm gonna. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna roll more. I hope it's not too thin. Um. So after you put the beaten egg over it, you're gonna put it in the oven. Um. At one second. Let me. So, for 25 minutes um, and 350 Fahrenheit. No. Okay. So, right now, um, we just finished this one. And let's see how it Well, that's pretty good. Maybe we could just, wait, how about we push this and make it, here, wash your fingers, and use a knife to carve it out. With parent supervision. Yes, with parent supervision. And it looks like a mess right now. Okay, move your fingers, please. So let's see. now we'll show you the finished product. Well, not finished because it hasn't been. So um, right now we're gonna put cheese at the bottom. And some potatoes. And some cheese over. Okay. Now we are going. Now we are going to flip, and I am going to. I'm going to close it up. cooking these for 25 minutes um, and 358 Fahrenheit we it will be done so thanks for watching please subscribe and bye guys